difficult to support a team that's uh, not doesn't appear to be um, uh, successful on the field. Uh, last year, you know, um, an attempt to kind of humiliate us posted a picture on there that they'd get a reaction from it. Uh, what they didn't realize was that really kind of sparked a reinvigoration of the community back into the team. Um, the photo, the infamous photo that kind of sparked the field of stands was uh, at an away game. Paul Saltesiak uh, contacted me last year shortly after the Muskegon Reese Puffer game. I uh, noticed the image uh, on there and he wanted to do something to try to rectify the situation. The help and support of some community members to provide fan buses uh, to some away games towards the end of last season. You know, one of the fondest memories I have of that game last year was at the end of the game we're lining up and uh, start shaking hands coming back there. And the crowd was still standing and cheering. It was great. It felt good to see that many people at a game because I've never seen that many people at a union game and it felt good. It felt like a real high school football game. Nice to know that somebody cares and like that we have people supporting us even though even though our record isn't as good or that we're not as good as a team but somebody still is here supporting us. And it was that kind of pride that kind of motivates you to come back and to keep developing and keep working with players, trying to get better each and every time. There's just a lot of stuff uh, a lot of people don't understand. Is It seems as these kids mispractice, but some people are helping their parents, helping their family, got a babysat, and people sometimes just simply don't have a way to get here, so. As Grand Rapids being a big city, a lot of the kids finally start coming together in high school, so chemistry is a big issue where we have to build chemistry up and learn the place. That's one reason that a lot of people didn't want to come play is because they're like, well, they went 0-9. I don't want to be seen as 0-9. I don't want to be seen as a loser. People are so used to us losing and not having a winning record, so it's like nobody want to come and play. A lot of the kids on our football team have to have a responsibility to come to football practice, but also going to work and then school. So a lot of the kids on the football team, the majority of them take the bus and they'd have to pay money out of their own pocket. So during the summer, some kids wouldn't have money for the bus. So the community helped more and came together a lot and helped us with the bus passes, the community pride. Networking and community involvement and engagement. And uh, you know, Cody Garrison is really a poster child for that. Cody's approach, you know, his was very unique in that he wanted to first touch the community and help and assist, which was awesome to see a young man be so driven with one thing was, I want to help my community and see what happens after that. The community multiply that seven times over. I went to the CEO summit downtown and I talked to a lot of CEOs, got their emails and talked to them and asked if there was any events that we could get involved at. And then also I contacted other people in the community seeing if we could get involved because we wanted the community to support us. But we don't want to just ask for handouts, we want to give back to the community too. So over the course of the summer, we volunteered a little over 1,250 hours um, with all of our football players. People don't want to support people they don't know, but if they got to know the football players, they would come to our games, want to support us, and we bring community pride back into the football team. It's not always about just winning, it's about the characters. It's developing the young spirits, trying to get them to become better men, better women after they're done playing. Uh, I got involved with the union football team a couple months ago. We started talking about how we could partner together with the business association, Stockbridge, um, to potentially get uniforms for the team. These jerseys are really outstanding. They've got feathers coming up, they're blending into the uniforms, red and black. Uh, I think they're going to be really blown away. I'm just surprised that um, another business, another community, uh, Bridge Street Market, Paul Saltizek, Stephanie Scott, really put forth a lot of effort and time. You know, this it means a lot to, to this company and, and to me personally um, to be able to work with the kids from Union High School. I think there's a ton of value in the team sports and extracurricular activities, really develop. And, and from there, it makes them leaders at times and allows them to build up their resume you know, at a young age. Those are all important things for you later on in life. young men have chosen to face forward. You've chosen to pay it forward, to give of yourself for the sake of others. That's a big deal. And because of that, we have a special surprise for you.
outstanding student athletes in this building. Um, student athletes that once uh, some of the other business community members and partners, if they got to know these young men and women, they would be highly impressed of their work ethic, their commitment, you know, their, their drive to see greatness in their communities. Take pride in yourself, do your right thing, and everything else will take care of itself.